Time to get motivated. Would you believe that the size <laughs> of your comfort zone determines the size of your success? It's actually been scientifically validated. But first, what is your comfort zone? It's that limit that you place that determines what you will and won't do. So, for example, think about how you would, where you would be right now if you didn't give it, or if you gave into your nervousness, your uncomfortability. You never went to school, you never went on a date, you never went to a new job, you never bought a car. You live in a bubble. Right. So ultimately, or you'd be means... completely paralyzed emotionally, physically, mm -hmm. and developmentally. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So one guy, Marcus Taylor, set out to help people to break their comfort zone, and he created a calculator for a comfort zone. Huh. Okay. And he breaks it up into three areas. It's very interesting. He breaks it up into professional, adrenaline, and then finally lifestyle. What he found through, through all these studies is that men's comfort zones tend to be larger than women's. Now, he might also be determining that mm. based on physicality. Men will do crazy things physically than women will. So we're safer. Yeah, when it comes well, I think you, and also, if you become a mother, you're going to take much more care of yourself than a father will. The sure. father will still tend to be irresponsible. That's a pretty cool illustration there of how it works. The yeah, I actually work. did this, and it showed up to be about 85.4. Notice there was professional adrenaline lifestyle. Professional is, will you go to a network meeting on your own? Adrenaline yeah. is, will you do bungee jumping? Lifestyle is, will you talk to different people, or will uh -huh. you do public speaking? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, is as a the, woman, I would do all of those things. Right, but when you look at those details, there's some pretty wild ones and crazy ones. Okay. For example, I said no to some adrenaline-based activities because right now I feel stressed out, so I'm mm -hmm. not going to go and do skydiving. Okay. So you've also got to base it on where you feel safe, which is very different and comfortable. But here's a quick one for you. What do you think is the number one fear we all have? Quick. Public speaking. I don't know. Uh, Tara? Dying. <laughs> it's really Fear dramatic, heights. but I don't know. Public speaking. And the reason is because Thinking. underneath, more than death, and the reason is underneath that we fear humiliation mm -hmm. and rejection and So what's your tips for people then at home? So home number one, one, just write out one thing you can do today that normally makes you nervous or uncomfortable. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And do it. It doesn't have to be anything Being big. Being vulnerable. It can be oh. physical, mental, <laughs> emotional. It can be calling a friend. It can be going out on your own. Anything that makes you feel uncomfortable, just do something small today. Remember this too. If you want to change your results, you have to change your actions. Mm, I gotta think of something. You guys yeah. should share those with us. Go to our Facebook page. We'd love to know what you're gonna do today to get out of your comfort zone.